As you can see, we have the battery over here. I'm going to rip it off and it's a dead battery. We're going to replace it with newer cells. Let's, as you can see, already I have made a crack out of it. Let's clean it up and open it up first. I have two of these over here. This is already, as you can see, these are the items that you can replace. All you have to do is, is to solder against all these. Let's head back to open this up. There will be some crack marks, don't worry about it, we can finish it later. Gently open it up, it's glued to the battery. There it is. All the batteries, the circuits. These are all 18,650 batteries, as you can see over here. The 18,650. I hope you can see these. These are the markings 18,650. The same circuit over here. All you have to do is pull everything up since I have opened this up, so it's easier to get this thing done. Remove the soldering, replace the batteries, put it back in. So, get this rubber out. Watch out for shorting in, shorting it out. As you can see, these are glued in, and the circuit is over here, so try not to break it if you need to use this module for later use after replacing the batteries. So let's clean this up, so we can remove the batteries easily. These are adhesive adhesive tapes that glues all the batteries and everything in one piece. Let's start removing them. Loosen it up slowly. Uh, don't risk uh, breaking the edges. This will come off soon and slowly as you can see there it is don't worry about the cable being torn it's internally connected it's just a uh, wire just uh, it's just a plastic that's actually getting torn apart so don't worry about it it's disconnected over here just replace these batteries Let's take these two out so you can have a good idea about this. Or you can even uh, disconnect these things. These are <coughs> not solder items. It's actually punched into the batteries. You see, it's just broke loose. There you go, two of them are loose. Over here you can do the same thing, slowly remove these items. But remember, these are plus, 
back end is the minus so imagine that you get wrong placement of batteries on the plus side or minus side so do remember it let me get some pliers get some nose pliers it's easier to get this removed there it is one got out so if you actually crimp it flatten it out again so that you can solder it with the new new batteries it's easier actually cost effective to replace these items otherwise you have to take uh, you have to spend at least a hundred dollars to get a new replacement of this one so remember these things these are the sensors that if your battery leaks out and the it actually uh, shortens out and sends out the signal it shorts out so it won't charge so that's about it replace these items with new batteries and you're good to go uh, remember these things one quick item is that these are nearly 2 amperes battery or 2.4 it's a 3.7 volt battery 18650 as you can see Okay, 18,650. Most likely, it's uh, you can run this number and find out the manufacturer who the manufacturer is. Basically, these are 3.7 volt, 2.4 amperes or more. Uh, there are more amperes available in the market. You can have at least uh, 4.5 to 6.5 ampere it's marked normally it normally marks as 2000 milliamperes or things like that thank you for watching